Once Miro is installed, just click the red M icon to start the application. Miro should open directly into the channel guide. To begin, let's just take a look at the channels in the sidebar that come pre-installed. If you click into one of them, you'll see that they're full of videos. Just click on any of the thumbnails to start downloading the videos. They're all free, so anything that looks interesting, just click on. The download tab will help you keep track of what's currently downloading. I've gone ahead and prepared something in advance, so if I click here, the video will finish downloading and I can show you how to play it back. Any time a video finishes downloading, a little green bubble will pop up next to the channel that it's in. So I'll just click into the channel, and then to play the video back, I just click the thumbnail. To go full screen, just click the full screen button, which is to the right of the play button, one time. To go back, just click the full screen button once more. So I'm going to press stop, and now you'll notice that Miro is going to expire the video in five days. What that means is the file will be deleted from your hard drive in order to free up space for more videos. If I want, I can click on the Keep button to save the video indefinitely. Miro comes with a handful of channels pre-installed. If I want to get more, I can go up to the Channel Guide. At the moment, the Channel Guide has just over 1,500 free channels. And that number is always growing because it's an open channel guide that anyone can submit their feed to. When you find something that looks interesting, just click the green plus button and the channel will be added to your sidebar. If you want more details about a channel, just click its thumbnail and then you can take a closer look. If it looks good, just click the add channel plus button and it'll go into your sidebar. Now I can take a look at the channel just by clicking on it. Notice that the first video is downloading already. Miro will do that automatically with every new channel you get. And then when new videos are posted to the channel, Miro can automatically download them for you. Another really cool feature in Miro is the ability to search video sharing services. Just click into the field and start typing in something you're interested about. And then press enter. So I'm actually searching YouTube for presidential candidates. These are all results that I can click on to download. And the cool thing is that Miro actually allows me to play these back full screen and save them if I want. So it's an experience that you can't get on the YouTube website. Those are some of the basics of using Miro. If you'd like to learn some of the more sophisticated stuff you can do with Miro, then check out Using Miro, which is a default channel in your sidebar. Enjoy the videos, and thanks for checking out Miro.